lad's love. Artemisia abrutanum. Well, look, it's spring, it's spring, and I'm busy in the garden planting trees. I've planted lots and lots of trees for parrots because I love parrots and other birds too that come, but I love parrots especially. Anyway, I've got some. I've got some herbs here too to go in. This is Lad's Love, called Lad's Love because it smells like Lad's Love. It smells like semen. To, well, some people think it smells like semen. It does a bit, but it also smells like apple. Uh, it's related, to, it's a type of wormwood. It's a type of Artemisia. This is Artemisia behind me, but this is Ab Artemisia abrutanum, Lad's Love, also called Maiden's Ruin. For, well, for obvious reasons. I mean, if you find yourself pregnant to somebody with a baby you don't want, that's maiden's ruin, isn't it? It's happened to zillions of women throughout history. They've fallen pregnant to men they didn't want to be pregnant to. And this is, this is lad's love, or also called southern wood. It's also called what? This, as I said, maiden's ruin. It's also called old man's beard. Does it look a bit like my beard? A bit, maybe does have a bit in that direction. A lot of people think it smells like semen or sperm, but I think it's a bit more appleish as well. And to that, the appleishness, you know, it's not that far a, a distant relative from chamomile even because these artemisias are sort of daisyish things, I think. I mean, they're a bit, I think that I'm not a botanical expert. I think they're related to the compositi, which is the daisy family. I'm not sure, I'm no expert. What does it say on the packet? Artemisia abritanum, highly aromatic silver foliage, perennial shrub, perennial shrub, perennial shrub, yes. It is perennial, you can grow it easily from cuttings in winter in a glass of water in winter time, like uh, for wormwood or taken from cuttings in winter time, it grows very, very easily. Uh, Any time from say autumn to uh, early winter, plant it in a, and take cuttings and it will grow very very easily. Aromatic shrub with grey green much divided foliage to around 75 centimeters tall and wide. Clusters of small soft lemon flowers in summer. Suited to open sunny sites in full sun with free draining soil. It used to be used as, an, as a posy herb in the old olden days. Boys, men would give a posy containing wormwood not wormwood, containing southern wood, this lad's love. They would give some of this lad's love in a posy. They would, for obvious reasons, I mean. Well, semen is related to romance, isn't it? It is. Planting ideas and uses. Listen, this, this lists it as a culinary herb. I've heard of it used before as a, well, possible, possible medicinal uses. But this talks about culinary uses, planting ideas and uses. Leaves gives a bitter leaves give a bitter lemon taste to cakes from French and Italian recipes. Add to salads or use an aromatic vinegar. I'd be very careful how I use any of this Artemisia family because they can be quite toxic. You don't just go overboard with these wormwoods. You don't. You don't. So I'd double check with that if I'm go, if I were going to use it as a culinary herb. I would. Anyway. It's a nice little border plant, a nice little cottage garden plant plant. It's a lovely little plant and it is um, it is a herb and it does smell lovely and it goes, goes more greyish greener during the, the coldest months but this is spring now and it is a beautiful old, old herb from the old days and it does smell a bit of semen See you then. That's my little rant on lad's love. I've got to get back to the garden now. Where am I going to put these? See ya.